This is the home of the talk show audience. And here, in amongst the herd, we find the mighty Alpha Male. He spent the last hour drinking at the watering hole. And soon, he'll be looking for a suitable mate. Now, the audience starts to respond as he utters his characteristic cry. Let's start the show! Specimens you all are. <laughs> have some of you been marking your territory? Have you? Have you? <laughs> hey, got some big showbiz beasts for you tonight. Uh, as you might have guessed, wildlife legend Sir David Attenborough is here. <laughs> Star of Charlie's Angels, something about Mary and Shrek. It's only Cameron Diaz. <laughs> Actress and director Kathy Burke is on the show. Yes, there's more. We've got music for the fantastic Scissor Sisters. Oh, what a fantastic lineup! Actually, it does have a familiar ring to it, though, doesn't it? David Cameron Burke. <laughs> I'm going to be talking to Cameron about her new film, What to Expect When You're Expecting. Uh, a lot of people capture the magic moment that their baby arrives. Now, I, I hope uh, no one's squeamish, because we've actually got a photo of Angelina Jolie's baby being delivered. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> Is it a boy? Is it a girl? I don't know. Now, listen, I'm told, I'm told that subconsciously, women choose a man based on the kind of baby they'd like. So, uh, my tip, ladies, pick a man with a small head. That's all I'm saying. Uh... <laughs> Seriously. <laughs> ladies going, <laughs> if only I thought of that. <laughs> now, I can't wait to talk to Sir David Attenborough. He has filmed so many memories. Yeah, give him a round of applause. An amazing career. He's filmed so many memorable wildlife sequences. Uh, here, here's a bear catching a salmon. Aww. And here he is a few minutes later, ready to eat it. <laughs> <laughs> Can I get the wine menu? <laughs> I do remember there was one very poignant sequence where a lion uh, failed to catch a zebra and, and went hungry. Although not everyone found it sad. <laughs> What are they laughing at? <laughs> what amuses the zebras? Uh, obviously, as part of his job, David has had to film the mating rituals of many animals. And the funny thing, they always seem up for the mating. Don't they? they always seem up for the mating. <laughs> but when they find out they were being filmed... Oh! I've made a sex tape! Oh, Dappy! Let's get some guests on!
Yes. Uh, welcome to all three of you. Very nice to see you all. And uh, we're excited to see all three of you. But I happen to know that, Cameron, you're very excited to see Sir David. I am so excited. Really? I am. Yes, I am. <laughs> We're making a, a Sir David Attenborough sandwich by... You, he's the meat in the middle of our sandwich right now. <laughs> Leave you to it. Yeah. <laughs> We're his slices of bread, you know what I'm saying? She, uh, she's a nice French stick and I'm an old meal ovis or something. <laughs> <laughs> Little bits of grit in it. <laughs> Because you, you did yeah, want I, to be a zoologist. I did want to be a zoologist. That was what I really? thought that I was going to be my entire life. I wanted to study <laughs> the um, behavior of animals. I've learned a lot from you already. <laughs> <laughs> up on backstage. We're not going to mention those. No. No. But I ended up studying the behavior of animals. It just ha happened to be human animals. Really? Yes. You know, I, as an actor, that's what yes, I do. I study human behavior. And lots of discoveries? Yes, lots of Big discoveries. Surprises. Big surprises. And I, I, I find so many more surprises when I watch your really? show. Yes. Really? <laughs> we should see the outtake. I would love to. <laughs> Maybe we can arrange a viewing. Yes, anytime. <laughs> okay. Do you watch Sir David's book? Yeah, I do, David. I watch it. <laughs> <laughs> are you with animals? You with animals are you? Yeah, I've got animals, not wild animals. Oh, oh with pets? Pets, yeah, yeah. yeah. A couple what? of pussies and a dog. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> What do you call them? What do you, what do you call them? Um, well, my dog's called Shenanigans. Because <laughs> we're Irish. And, um, and, and you seriously sit in a park at night going, Shenanigans! No! Because <laughs> bursting out of bushes. She's seen us! <laughs> no, she, she only gets given her full name if she's been a bit naughty. Oh. And then you give the full name, you see. You say Shenanigans and she sits down. But otherwise, she's Shanny Dog, Fat Back, Fat <laughs> Poodle. Lots of nicknames. And then I've got two cats, Dave the Rave. <laughs> so called, because when he was a kitten he looked like he'd been up all night on ecstasy. <laughs> <laughs> there wasn't there wasn't a pick on him. <laughs> and then uh, <laughs> and then uh, and his sister's called Missy Elliot. Because he's, <laughs> <laughs> he's like that. <laughs> so. We, we want to celebrate today because it's a huge year for you. Mm -hmm. uh, not just the Queen having a diamond jubilee, 60 years of broadcasting. Mm -hmm. wow. <laughs> Still going strong. Yeah, well, not at all about strong, I'm still going. Yeah. <laughs> is it being marked in some way? Have animals organised a concert? Uh, <laughs> yeah. Yeah. What, what, what's going to happen? Is there, is there some big do? No, we're going to do three programmes about looking back over 60 years, yeah. Okay. Yeah. But you're still pushing boundaries and, and breaking new kind of technology. This new series you're doing for uh, Sky, The Kingdom of Plants, in 3D. Yeah. It starts on the 26th of May on Sky Atlantic and it's also simulcast on Sky 3D. And in terms of the film, is what's new the way it's being filmed or are we still finding out things about the plants? Oh, surprisingly, lots of things we don't know about plants, you know. Um, the, the, there's a plant called sundew, which I think you, oh, yes, we have here. Yes, in the clip, yeah. Well, it's a common plant if you, in this country, you know, uh, there are a couple of different species in, in, in the moorlands and so on. But it's a, a plant which, which has uh, hairs on its leaves with little tips of sticky stuff on the end, and it eats insects. And when the insect comes in, it closes around in, and shuts it up. But the interesting thing is that if, if an insect comes there, and that moves over, but this, not these, but this one then moves over. So there's some communication between this hair and that hair, and we don't know what it is. We don't know how it happens. Well, let's have a look at that happening, and what's amazing is just how beautiful it, it is. I it, find it it's absolutely the, the colours are extraordinary. Here we go. So they, obviously, the, the time-lapse cameras on there, but do they wait for a fly to come in, or do they just kind of go, there's a oh, fly? Oh, don't do that. Dinner time. 
<laughs> and of course, it must have been a joy for you to film this because it was filmed all at filmed at Kew. Yeah, that's the great thing about Kew is that, that there are plants from all over the world, plants from the top of the Alpine mountains, plants from the jungles, from the deserts. They're all there. And not far from your house. And, and <laughs> you? <laughs> no, because that must be such a relief, because even your last television series, they sent you off to the North Pole and the South Pole. Yes. Which, that's physically really demanding, isn't it? Well, uh, only if you do it in 36 hours. But yes. I, I have to tell you, I, I didn't walk. <laughs> uh, <laughs> uh, <laughs> uh, no, I didn't. <laughs> it was a helicopter. And you have to wait for a helicopter. <laughs> and, and while you're waiting for it, you're living in tents, you know. But they're, they're very comfortable tents, warm tents. But, but, um, but then they send you outside and make you do bits to camera. Only very quickly. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, it is true. Um, but actually, it's a doddle, you know. If you get the right gear, there's no problem, you know. Or, or, but the difficulty is if things go wrong. If you, if you lose a glove, you may well have lost two or three fingers, you know. Yes. Um, but if you don't lose a glove and you, you do things right, it's, it's a cakewalk. Because, Cameron, you did a, a wildlife series. I did. I did a little uh, a show called Yes, I Did. Um, I was trying to do that but I'm not as, you know, I'm not as, well... Do you, do you strangle snakes? And I, I, well, you know, I've had snakes. I, my first pet, when I, was, when I was 11, my mom and dad said, what do you want for your birthday? I said, I want a snake. So I got a snake Very for sad. my 11th birthday. He was a six-foot-long Florida king snake named Norton. You're kidding. No, really, <laughs> Norton. Really? Her name was Norton. Oh. <laughs> Norton. Uh, you know the Honeymooners? Jackie Gleason? Oh, yeah, yeah. Yeah, so Norton was his sidekick. I, it was just one of those things that happened in my family. Uh, they, yeah, my yeah. household, you can't really explain it. But, um, but yes, and I did a show called Trippin' on MTV about yeah. seven years ago where I traveled around and went, I went to Jane Goodall's yeah. um, to, in, in uh, Tanzania. To Tanzania. And I uh, had that experience with the chimps there. You know, their morning ritual when they get up in the morning and the first thing the alpha does is put his bum over the side and take a crap in the morning, then goes and beats the shit out of the beta male and then goes and bangs the alpha male. <laughs> the female, sorry. The female. Wow. Pardon me. That, that footage is worth something. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> and you know, it's just the order of things that he, and then he has breakfast, of course, after that. Um, and that's how his day starts, right? Am that's I, correct, yeah. The, so I witnessed the right thing. They yes, didn't get the right thing. acting off because no, okay. Hollywood's here. <laughs> it's Cameron <Gabriel! laughs> Diaz! <laughs> and because you do, you know, you, you do learn a lot from watching these programs. But I think the odd thing is they still have the power to shock in terms of uh, the level of, of violence and, and things. Do you, are you self-policing? in terms of what you show, or is there some sort of BBC body that kind of goes, that's too gruesome? No, you, I mean, it, people say we show too much. If, if they saw what we left in the cutting room, in the editing room, that we cut out, uh, they would be appalled. I mean, you know, lions, when a lion catches a wildebeest, it eats it alive, you know. And uh, we don't show that. We, we show it very abbreviated. But you have to be careful what you do, because if you cut it all out, then you're telling an untruth. You're telling fairy stories. And natural history programs are not about fairy stories. They're about the real world. So you have to make a, a judgment and, and do it one in, in the middle. And equally, when you're filming the, the mating, does it get to a point where you just feel like an old perv and you just kind of think, I'm, I'm really, I must well still stop filming this now because it's, it's gone on for no, too you long. See, you see, your imagination is running away with you. <laughs> yes, it is. Yes, it is. <laughs> Have you ever seen birds mate? I've seen pigeons mate. Have you? And uh, how quick? It's gone. Well, there's a lot of flapping about before they get down to it. <laughs> That may be that they are showing off to one another, but the actual copulation, like that. Really? It, it, yes, it's known as the cloacal kiss. Did you know that, Kathy? Well, it's, it's only what I've experienced. <laughs> <laughs> now it has a name. Now it has a name. Thank you for that cloacal kiss. <laughs>